please help me. I need, I need an adult. Uh, but we're into Picks and Bands Game 2 here. Dark Passage and Team Liquid. It is the losers match of Group B. Winner here will go on to the elimination match and then have their chance and their shot at the semi finals. The loser will unfortunately go home. Dark Passage one game down. Team Liquid just needs one more game to progress. But we're into these bands and let's get this rolling. Uh, Rengar and Olaf bands against Raynova, while Syndra and LeBlanc will be taken away from Immortaru in the mid lane. And Bard okay. will be the final ban at Matt. Just kind of throwing the Bard ban out there. Obviously a champion he has played before, but not really a champion he's been using today. So it seems a little bit weird to just randomly add that ban. But sometimes the teams have like some special strategy in mind when they suddenly throw it like a new ban. I mean, Olaf obviously makes a lot of sense because Raynova has gone off on that champion. I do think it's more the player though than the pick actually going ham. Uh, and they are still trying to ban him out because now Lee Sin and Rex are still open. So. Technically, picking the Rek'Sai is actually better here if you consider the fact that uh, Lee Sin was not favored by Raynova. He's not been favored by Raynova almost ever if you want to first pick one of those and just trade the tanks later. So it makes sense you want Lee Sin for Pooh, but you are, you're now just giving Rek'Sai to Raynova and then banning Olaf and Rengar kind of loses all its value. So I actually would have gone Rek'Sai here and just said, Yes, Ku, you want to play Lee Sin, but we want to deny the best available pick from Raynova instead. You just gave him the best available pick. Yeah, it's not like Raynova's going to be like, Oh man, I can't play my Rengar, my Olaf, what a disaster, game's over. Oh, I just got the best run in the game, oh well. Uh, Northless for the top lane as well for Lolo. He's going to be absolutely fine with that. That was his priority pick last game. Was the first pick from Team Liquid, despite Poppy, Maokai. All those great top lanes still being available. Yeah, so. Lolo really likes his uh, Nautilus above anything else. So much that Liquid has been first picking it. And he got uh, a solo kill. And, I mean, he also died, but yeah, it's true. He got a solo kill. So he got to give him that one. I think. I mean, I love both. Like, no, I actually love like all of the three top lanes: Poppy, Nautilus, and, and Maokai. I think they're all really strong. So I don't think there's any make a preference there. But that is what it is. If I'm Dark Passage now, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna do something special, something unique. Uh, I think going Jace is one of the choices. Kennen is another one saying like, let's try and dominate the top lane. Jace is in fact locked in. Uh, and say like, let's switch it up. Because the 2v2 lane, it didn't work. Holy Phoenix misplayed mechanically. It went wrong. And just playing like a standard game is never going to beat Team Liquid if you are Dark Passage. So I think just trying to go all in for laning phase might actually make a lot of sense. Get some winning lanes, try and uh, make it work. And try and snowball that lead against Team Liquid. I like the adaptation from them. And Cassiopeia as well for the mid lane for Immortal. However, Oriana was still up for Golden Blue, considered to be a strong pick against Cassiopeia. Will be locked in now for Team Liquid. And Thresh as well for Matt. Courage of the Colossus, great of course, aka Cock. And I guess Dark Passage. <laughs> That's the only one we gotta call it now. There it is. We know the fact that there's actually a T in the. We just removed it's that one. It's a silent T. Oh, it's a silent T, okay. Um, Dark Passage, obviously, uh, I guess now I'm going into the mind of the coach. Being like, ah, we wanna play Cassiopeia, so we move Bard because he could ulti catch Cassiopeia, and therefore we think Matt could have played it. And that might oh. be the reason. Okay. So, Caitlyn picked up for Holy Things once again. Don't think there's anything wrong in terms of the pick itself. Locked in alongside Braum. Who also brings a very special keystone. What was the name again? Uh, Courage of the Colossus. Ah, okay, thank yes. you, boss. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no. And if they bring uh, the same. I actually like other keystones as well on Braum. Just saying that. I play Thunderlord's Braum with the Thunderlord's Braum. Come on, man. You gotta <laughs> get some kills in lane. Can't be so boring all the time. Ooh, Twitch. Love it. Yeah, I think it's like, all right, boys, one game up in this set. Give me a hyper carry. You won't let me have Vayn. Okay, give me Twitch. Twitch uh, does struggle a little bit against Caitlyn specifically, but you got a range support next to you, so you should be must more than fine, honestly, in that lane, in my opinion. Uh, just judging also from like individual skill difference, I think uh, Piglet and Matt will do just fine. Overall, Liquid getting some very good picks. Funny enough, we're in a meta where each role has like three or four really good picks. So it was one of the worst statements of all time as a color cast because we're literally seeing good picks in every game. Like there's not really a situation where you get completely destroyed in the pick and phase anymore. No, we would need like 10 bans for that to ban everything away. And even then there would be B tier picks that people could pick up. Well, yeah, because they would just be become fantastic. the new strong picks, right? Yep, exactly. That's how it would work. 
Team Liquid on your screen. One more win needed to try and get into the elimination match, the decider match, which will be their road to the semi-finals. The music is turning up. The hype is intensifying. Let's get into the game, Paul. Let's get in. Alright, let's go. Game two of this best of three here in the losers match between Dark Passage and Team Liquid. Just one more win required for Liquid to take this one home. And Dark Passage have changed up their playstyle slightly, bringing Buepo Akari in the top lane to try and make this work for the team. And Snowball that early game, trying to get a winning lane up there. Lolo back on his north list though, so he'll be putting a stop to that, hopefully. I still actually can't believe Rain over got Rick's side. After you <laughs> invest two bands against and then they banned him, bard, and it's like, haha! And then they banned, but like, why not ban the Rex side then and first pick the Lee Sin and to be like, ah, what are you gonna play now, Ivern or something? <laughs> you know, like, really Rick didn't pinched make his champion, <laughs> really got him, <laughs> really checkmate. Didn't make a whole lot of sense. Randomly pulling out the Bard ban, unless again they felt like against something like Cassiopeia, they didn't want to risk a Bard being picked. Obviously, Bard. Especially in the early stages of the game when Cassiopeia doesn't Many have that much movement speed, speed and can catch her with ulti. I do feel like there's enough other options against her and other picks. Anyway, we get to see a second game between these two guys. First game, Liquid stomped Dark Passage, in case you guys missed it. And it was like 25 minutes long. Yep, just under, I believe. We they didn't see get the speed run out, but yeah. it was close. We need to see a much better game from Dark Passage if they want to do anything in this BU3. Maybe surprise Picklet if he face checks. He might just step out to hit the meter minion. Oh, he's smart. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe it's actually Team Liquid who gets the jump on Dark Passage's bot lane, but not the case. Matt's still zoning away, and we have this 2v2 opening up now, so hopefully we don't see any mechanical misplays from Holy Phoenix, because last time Matt was really just having the bot lane of his life, where Holy Phoenix was just walking up and getting hit by every hook. So... <laughs> Got to see him not do that this game. Mid lane, Immortaru up against Golden Glue. Early level two for him, so he goes super aggressive. Very good level for him. Level two punish. In that start, and let's see Rainover trying to look for his first game. That's one of the problems when you play carries top now. You can get ganked pretty easily. Uh, he's coming in. The tunnel, the flash, the knock up, another knock up into the staggering blow. Where's the dress That was line? a minion. That was a melee minion oh, in front of him. Oh, ruined bot lane. Piglet so much punishment from Holy Phoenix. Mass there to return damage onto Rogue. But Holy Phoenix, another two auto attacks. That was a very good trade for Dark Passage. I mean, again, that's expected again when we play Kid against Twitch, but it, with their individual skill of the liquid bot lane, I just think they're still going to be fine after this. But you do take some harass in the start. Top lane gank got butchered pretty badly though. Lolo flashed in and there was a melee minion in front of him when he actually tried to go for the hook and now return gank potentially from Kuhn. Very early though that Whippo actually jumps in. He's baiting it, Pulse! He is, because Lolo, he goes all in, only now activates the Titan Thrap. Shield is broken, Q is there for the kill, but Lolo finds a kill in return regardless. Q will have to burn the flash, takes one tower shot. Oh, smites the minion there, thought he was going to get minion blocked. And that will be a one for one and an assist over to Ku. Lolo, yeah, this is his champion apparently. Yeah, let's see. Rain over coming towards the bottom lane now. Matt can flash forward and play. Well, good luck. We have a lot of summoners available. Nice double knock up into the double play. Piglet, he's got so many targets to auto attack. He'll flash after Holy Phoenix and he will tick down from the passive. Rogue going to be dragged in once again by a fantastic play from Matt. And a great mechanical outplay there in the bottom lane. And once again, Rainover is able to gank multiple lanes in the early game without really falling behind at all, getting the kills already. Assist obviously helps. Really good start from him. Should have been a kill up in the top lane. Didn't go in favor of Liquid though, but then in the bottom lane instead. Just an easy gank. He's pathing him behind him. Through the Dragon Wall into a double knockup. Not really I guess actually Rogue tried to flash to see if he could 
slow down Pictus so Holy Fiend could run away. Idea was actually good enough. Sadly for him, he did miss the Q and also Pictus had enough time to get that one auto in and actually kill Holy Phoenix. But if they maybe connected to slow on Twitch, potentially Caitlyn could have escaped. Didn't happen though. Two kills for Liquid in the bottom lane and both went over to the Twitch. And now your BF saw Twitch against good Lord. Boots, Dagger, Caitlyn. That lane is heavily in favor of Liquid. Liquid. And all summoners down for Dark Passage. That could not have gone worse for Dark Passage. And Matt, he's uh, now in a situation where he can roam around with his jungler Rainover. He can try and make no something flash. happen in the mid lane. Rainover setting up for the tunnel. Matt has been revealed by a minion. <laughs> so, Team Water is just playing towards the top sides of the lane. But the Raptors did spawn, so Rainover can take uh, something. Ah, we're on the Korean client. It's taken me a day and a half to realize that these were not the English voiceovers. We need some Lissandra in here. We do. To get the proper LCK experience. Horrifying. So that noise. Let's see what else can happen in this game now, because we're kind of looking for a dark passage to try and just brute force away in these lanes here, especially the Jace on top side, but with him dying in that 1v1 before, He's not really able to take over the lane right now, and he needs to get a big advantage. Otherwise, he's going to be super useless later on in the game compared to the Nautilus in big team fights. Mojo taking a lot of damage, Cold Blue not level 6 yet. Once he gets it though on, on Oriana, he will start dominating this lane as well because there's no flash on Cassiopeia. So, what's going to happen, Pulse, is Oriana's going to shock wave her, and most likely Reyna is going to show up and pick up a very easy kill for Liquid. 6 now, and Immortal is only level 5. Yep. This is perfect situation. Rainover is, however, on the top side of the map. He might give uh, Pwipo a quick once-over, since he is also flashless. Yeah, still no flash and on him. And Lolo is also six, so he can point-click, depth charge. Whippo, very low on mana. Not six himself, but doesn't really mean much in terms of power spikes for the young Jace. I mean, really is heaven right now for Rainover. He can literally gank every single lane, because none of them have flashes right now. And there's CC from Oriana, CC from Red, CC from... Nautilus, fight in the bottom lane. 2v2 fight, oh what's that, Piglet with a BF sword, he has been exhausted, but now he'll chase onto Rogue, so much damage. He's dead. He's very dead, he does so many bleeds on top of him with the Ignite, and Piglet will be the one to secure the kill. Uh, Holy Phoenix sort of sidesteps that one and will get out alive, but one kill over to Team Liquid in a 2v2. Everything is going downhill. Ku into the top lane, kick into the wall, lands the Q. Follow up, his Pwipo as well. Nice depth charge, lands onto two. And a return with the death charge, or a return with the dress line rather, knock up for Rainover, and that's a kill in return for absolutely nothing. And Ku will have to back away. Again, well played by Team Liquid. Every lane is winning. It's almost too easy. It's almost too Taking easy. Candy from a from a baby. Yeah, really not the smartest idea to go up and try and gank Lolo there with zero vision of Rainover, and even without Rainover, Lolo almost actually won't be to them. Golden Blue can still try and uh, shockwave once he gets Immortal a little bit further down. And can actually shockwave just now. Now he's Rainover knock up onto Immortal. Did uh, get this petrifying gaze down, but it's not enough because the Furious Bite will finish him off top lane. At least Dark Passage got something. Lolo got DP'd up there. I guess uh, he didn't expect Ku to actually return to the top lane and take him down. I like all the sectoral references you have right now, Pulse. I don't know what you're referring to at all. I was simply referring to the fact that the name is Dark Passage. Here's a replay to Fisio. Special little snowflake, Pulse. Oh, he actually waited. In the he thought he had recalled the sneaky one. Got him. To be fair, that one is hard to outplay. Like, you don't expect the jungler to actually wait there, especially in competitive play. I mean, that's what you've got to do, right? You have to be more inventive with how you set up these ganks. Uh, and Ku getting his hands on the Lee Sin as well has to try and make it work. And he is 2 and 0 in this game. But Rainovus is getting way too much done. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, Rainovus has three lanes with CC in gank. Makes it much easier smoking in jungler. Uh, Piglet obviously doing well in the bottom lane after he got that BF sword first back. He's now picked up three kills in total. So he's gonna be a nice and happy little Twitch. Rainover, good knock up onto Ku. Coming in there with the ward jump and more through, cutting off the assistance from Golden Glue. Oh, he is rat. I was hiding. 
Oh, oh, Matt Life! Oh, 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 Matt Life! There he is, Amoderu. See you later, nerd. Piglet into the mid lane. Hashtag rotations. We're in Korea. Rotatoes. And Team Liquid will take the mid lane tower. Nine minutes into the game. Coop, go on, do it. Be a man. Get in there. Screw him. Uh, Team Liquid is so far ahead. Lolo, <laughs> you didn't even break the shield. <laughs> There's Lance the dredge line. Oh, that feel when you're adjacent, you're getting soloed by Nautilus in top lane. Oh, There's a sorry. Riptide. Another staggering blow. He's being booped to death. Go on. Give him another, give him another no, whack. No, he has flash. He has to flash, flash away. So <laughs> many bad feelings at 1v1. Jay's getting 1v1, 1v1, but also like auto tagging as Nautilus without the W on. It just feels like, yeah, it just looks so weird the way he's like, if you have an anger, bonk people in the head with it. Don't like poke them with it. It's just like absolutely nothing. Yeah. And you just deal no damage, and then you pop the W and you feel like it's God almost. You do. Oh, great will auto the, attack animation. We'll once again try and kill Lolo in top lane. We see Q. The main thing happened. Maybe Lolo will kill him anyway. We don't know. Knocked into the tower. Yes, he will. And Q, see if he has enough damage. He kicks him away. Oh, it's not <laughs> enough. Not like this, Deficio. But they both, no. they're all dying. <laughs> Holy Phoenix, run. Maybe someone will get alive. Oh no, that connects the death sentence. This is this is oh, this is turned into an R-rated broadcast. Man, he's not even smiling, man. Six kills on this Twitch. Team Liquid. Stone Cold Killer. This is, they're building confidence and KDA and momentum. The Giants game, especially momentum. That's the key one they're building. And Giants are sitting backstage watching this, shaking already. Yeah. Whoa. How can we face this? They have become SKT over the series. Lolo, let's see a replay of him destroying Whipper the Hippo. Yeah, uh, we've kind of seen this one before. So, that's unlucky from Ku. Obviously not uh, getting Lolo down, needed miscalculation. So, li so little to actually die. Liquid in full control in this game. I always enjoy following Rain over. I just feel like wherever he goes, it's like, oh, that was a great decision. That was a really smart place to gank. And it can't always be random. You just sometimes have to realize that he's just a really good jumper. And he knows exactly what he's doing. He's also very far ahead in this game and got his hands on Rek'Sai. But in terms of decision making... Oh yeah, that Rek'Sai pick. Uh, also, uh, at least they banned the other junglers. He totally would have picked above Rek'Sai. And Bard. <laughs> Don't forget the Bard. Uh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's important. Uh, Matt, right, Matt. Pick right, come two on. versus three. They what a DPS chances. It. They can probably win the 2v3. Especially if Pete can actually hit all three. Oh, Whoops, no. that's, oh, that's, that, that's definitely low though. Can't run from that. Boop. Also decides to hit with his hand when he has an angle. Legal Legends logic. Yeah, I actually haven't seen that auto attack animation before. You usually just see the one where he like stabs him with the with the anchor with the flat part of the Guess if you are anchor. close enough in range. He just gives him the backhand. You might actually give him the backhand, yeah. <laughs> The slap! <laughs> yes. Whatever you just said, Twitch. I agree. I actually don't know what that is in English. I think that's the taunt. He talks about like cheese or something in the... Yeah, I don't remember. Like, that's uh, one way he talks about like joke. smelling like an egg or something. Yeah, that's the that's the joke, I think. I'm not sure what the taunt smells is. Smells like a fine egg, I believe is right. Yeah. I do play a lot of Twitch, but I rarely like listen to the quotes because I have music or something. Yeah, I... Uh, I actually have the Japanese voice pack because I'm a weeb, so I listen to that. <laughs> oh god. It's actually really good. Some of the characters. I didn't have notice you were. Fantastic. You know, really? from your hair and Shocking. outfits and <laughs> everything you talk about. And I'm glad you just pointed it out for me. Well, I'm, I'm glad you tried to get into my world for at least five minutes. I tried for five minutes to watch the Titans attacking and it just didn't work for me. I also tried getting into your world with uh, Peaky Blinders, tried five minutes. And it was great. Uh, it's all right. I'll probably carry on watching. I'm actually glad you referred to my world as Peaky Blinders. That, that yeah. makes me very happy. Let's see, bot lane pulse. We're gonna get a fight. Here's the TP, and here's another TP. The first one's cancelled, and the second one's not cancelled because Team Liquid's going in. Everyone's dog on top of Holy Phoenix. See you later. Pulls in a mortar for the second kill. Hooks on hooks. It is indeed Hook City. Rogue, get out of there. We need to get the information. Oh, cool with the big place. Death Star. Kick oh, him cool. into the tower. He's hiding. He's hiding. He do it. He's waiting. He actually probably can't take Lolo in a 1v1. And he just got hit. Took a lot of damage from Riptide. Don't know if Lolo just did that. Oh, he did see him. And now he's going to Roy call in his face. That would be a line from Peaky Blinders. And Pig is going to take this tower. Eh? 
Alright, so cancel TP because Jace can't really flank TP. It's not exactly a Jace thing to do. Sick knockoff by Rainover and big plays all around. It's like a highlight reel. A hook. Dark passage right now. Or just montage material, honestly, because everything Liquid seems to do ends up in like multiple kills and some big plays. Matt has been doing really well this game. Probably the best hooker I've seen in a while. Lolo also with those multiple solo kills. What are you giggling at? Absolutely not. I don't want to even continue down that path you're taking. You're trying to bait me into something. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're referring to whatsoever, Moose. Oh, Matt. Get in there. Under the hook. Zero, zero, 008. I mean, it's a proper support score. That's a, that's a lucky number in Asia. I don't know why. Is it really? Yeah, 8. It's a really lucky number. Um, there was a person who like apparently bought a uh, license plate for a crazy amount of money. It was like the eight. Here's eight. another solo kill from Lolo. Like he took like five tower shots. Here comes Rain over. Yeah, come on, man. Get Great out of my game. game. Great game. Wait, how did he not hit the Nautilus there? That looked really weird. I actually don't know. Here's the ball. Coop. Will he get out? He's gonna. He's got the flash. And there it is. Rainover's still chasing after. He wants to knock up there. Ah, oh, shockwave. Yeah. Bot lane, piglet. You know, Flash I noticed um, Freak actually pointed this out to me when we were in the ele elevator at our hotel. Yeah. They had a, they have the third floor or thirteenth floor here in Korea, uh -huh. where in America they don't have that in hotel. Oh, the Cheese it, piglet. Cheese it. Oh, he's good. Uh, okay, she's gonna kill him. Yes, he <laughs> auto attacked and pressed E. Oh, not. Can we get a? Anything? A grimace? A smile? Nope. They're all hoping to get the old Piglet one where he's laughing after he made that big play, the OCK. And he's back in free playing. But anyway, uh, Freak, uh, Freak found it very interesting to have the 13th floor. Yeah. So he had to point it out to me, and now I also found it interesting. I don't know why, so I had to point it out to you. Huh? Good to know. And all of you as a sponsor, now you all know. Yeah. And I'm actually on that floor. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. So is that unlucky or lucky? I, I assume it's pretty lucky. I mean, I think it's been unlucky so far. This was a pretty sick hook by Matt. He's definitely on fire today. Piglet right clicked both of them to death. Uh, we know what happens when Twitch gets ahead. We even saw in tandem mode at All Stars, of course. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. Because, like, why would you pick him in tandem mode? So one guy literally has to click on one button all game long, which is like ulti. Yeah. And the other guy's obviously controlling the mouse, and it's just like playing Twitch normally if you were. Just playing on your own. It's yeah. basically cheating from Uzi and Reckless in that mode. I mean, I was talking to Reckless on the other desk and he was saying it was the easiest thing of my life. The early game, I had to do a couple skill shots, and he was like, I pretty much could have just taken my hands off the keyboard. And that's the thing, when you and play Uzi would have killed everyone anyway. When you play tandem mode, you are. Like, the fun part is when you play like a super hard champion to play, and you're then doing. Like, you saw like Birks and Fager was like trying to play like Fizz, yes. and I'm like, that's interesting, because then it really matters. What you actually do together in the synergy. Celebrity and Mad Life, though, exceptionally good. I on was very fresh. surprised he did so well in that threat. Because you've got, both got to be thinking you want to do the same thing. Oh, the Weebo in the bot lane is trying to assassinate Piglet. The, the, the Weebo? Is I, I call him the Weebo now. The Weebo. He may be a Weebo. I'm not oh, sure. No, no, he's hiding. This is the long oh, time he's playing here. He oh, oh, can take him even if he finds him. I don't know if he can actually watch your Piglet. Lolo is taking negative damage. The shield has not broken. Who? Insect into the base and instantly reversed by Matt and everyone from Team Liquid jumping See, into the jump base. Again. Oh, oh, there it all is. works out! Wilpo's a god! I am sorry I ever doubted you. You are the best hippo on earth. Matt jumps away behind the inhibitor. Maybe he went a bit too deep there. Wilpo will be punished, but the play worked out. He has that highlight reel for the rest of his career. Um, he took out Piglet. Now, now he's, now, now now he's, he's dying, so he's smiling now. Anyway. I have been defeated in 1v1. He's like One Punch Man. Right. It's like I was looking for a worthy challenge, and I finally found it in the form of Whippo. The only goal now for Liquid is finishing the game faster than the last one. Oh, it's true. It's like 19 minutes. They, yeah. could, they could go for a very fast 22 game. 22 minutes to come to Monster 1. 25 is the own, I believe, from the last game. Inhib down very early on, but normally you want to win in him. Still, oh. I mean, you take what you can get. 18 right, right, minutes right. Oh, never mind. Team Liquid are just going to turn it anyway. Two. So squishy at this stage in the game. He's basically built full damage. Rogue. Oh, he wants to be the Whippo. Leader. Here comes Whippo. Oh, he missed the first shot. It's a zoning shot. Don't it's, worry. It's a warning shot. You better get out of our land. Rain over. Get off my lawn. Oh, no.
Nope, the guy in the diving suit who's killing me to death. And Motoru. Oh, Golden Glue cracks him in with the shockwave. Matt, where's the, where's the hook? Oh no, never mind. Just gonna hit him with the death charge instead. That would be a what? good ultimate if he actually hooked him in the damage. same time. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a cool interaction. That just happened, Pulse. Let's see if they can actually do anything else. They need another mid tower down. Clock is ticking here. This, oh, almost at 20 minutes. I believe it was like 22 minutes was the fastest game. Actually. It was, it was. I'm gonna actually find the exact time now. You do that, the Big Bishop. Killing people. Me meanwhile, Dark Passage uh, getting completely wrecked in the bottom lane. Rain over, not really taking any damage. All those fanked me out of mana now, so they've got that going for them. Uh, Matt will find Ku as he's trying to get away. He stands still and accepts his death. Whippo looking for another highlight play. Uh, Rogue getting chased down by Piglet. Piglet actually taunting underneath the Nexus turrets. I actually lost my internet, so I can't check. So we're just going to do 22 minutes. That's the one to beat. Liquid. Is that the Nexus turrets? They got to go straight for towers if they want to beat the time. 2.30, Pulse. They got 1 minute and 30 seconds. Don't die, Rainover. You're important. Oh, oh, nice hook from Lolo onto Motoru. He goes down. Goodbye, Rogue. Holy Phoenix back from the dead. He's onto Lolo. Yeah, Ku, get him. Ooh, Holy Phoenix on that spawn pad. He's dying. Yeah, but they're dying, Paul, so they can't actually finish the game just yet. Okay, they're on it now. Piglet is there Piglet. with Rain over. Piglet understands this as a speed run. Or does he? He's trying to pad they out have his a full bomb. minute, Paul. Don't die right now, Liquid. Just don't die. He's trying, Rain over. He's circling the Nexus. Piglet, no, he's just trying to pad his score. Come on, finish the Nexus. This is important. All right, Piglet, he's gonna finish off the Nexus. Team Liquid, two and zero in this series. Completely obliterate Dark Passage and move on to the elimination match up next. Fastest.